Okay guys, so today we're back at it again and I decided to do a little bit of an interesting video kind of talking about my top homesteading firearms because I kind of do that and I'm also planning kind of futuristically looking out at that potential and I thought it'd be interesting to take you guys on a look what I would personally do or the firearms that I would personally pick for homesteading and kind of running that operation of having livestock and living more off the grid and so with the annoying horse in the background adding quite to the rustic nature of this video. <laughs> so anyways guys, uh, let's jump into this. So I also thought it would be pretty interesting to bring you guys into this video because Alaska's needs are a lot different from the needs of the lower 48. So that's going to also kind of dictate the differentials in firearm choices for me personally. So starting off, I'm going to go over the rifles and then the handguns, and there's five guns here overall. And now let's jump into them. So starting off, and it's going to be hilarious, there are no shotguns on this list, because I really don't like shotguns, but uh, I think just like everyone else, you need a good 22 rifle, and this one's actually just a lever action Henry, and it's kind of the rifle that I'm choosing because it's a rifle I have. It's not necessarily my most favorite, but it makes a very viable option, and I will say to this rifle's credibil credibility, sorry, I can not speak much, uh, this gun has taken a lot of grouse, it's taken a lot of squirrels, this gun has done the true hunting that you would expect of a 22 rifle. Now, like I said, many people may buy these guns to train their kids to shoot or whatnot, but this gun here, for me personally, has killed many, many uh, hares, squirrels, grouse, you name it, for small game hunting, this has done it. So I have to say, for me personally, this makes a really fine um, homesteading rifle for being a critter getter. It's also very reliable because you have this lever action that that isn't reliant on any type of gas blowback or any type of uh, recoil blowback system. So it's just a good old lever action firearm and it works really well. And so anyways, that is number one on the list. So going to the next rifle on the list is kind of stepping up a little bit and that is kind of the general purpose defensive rifle. Now for me, I'm choosing an AK and I think that that's pretty interesting because it's a lot different from what I've seen in other people's setups and, or kind of not really setups but what they kind of pick for their top five and the reason why I differentiate from a lot of people choose ARs I like the AK a lot more for two reasons because one when you pop the mag out of the AK it makes a really great truck gun because of its slim profile it's a lot more slim than an AR because with an AR it has more of a mag well down here so it kind of adds a little bit more bulk, but at the same time, you know, you stick your mag in and you're ready to go. So it kind of is nice. It's a little bit nicer for being a truck gun in that way. And it's also nice for being a defensive gun because of the heavier caliber that it fires for Alaska. Now, obviously this isn't gonna be a polar bear hunting rifle, but if you are protecting livestock from predators such as black bears, uh, wolves, coyotes, fox, or even brown bears, this rifle is going to do a pretty good job, especially being that you have 30 rounds of 762 by 39 ready to go. And so it makes a really great kind of rifle for being on the ready for protecting livestock, or at the same time being a truck gun if you're running around on your property and you just need a good solid rifle to fulfill that role of being a truck gun. So I personally like the AK system more. Kind of, primarily not so much due to the fact that it's more reliable. I don't really buy into the whole fact that this is a more reliable system than, you know, an AR, because I know ARs, especially now a lot on YouTube, have been proven to be pretty reliable guns. I just prefer this because of its heavier caliber and because of this, because of the more compact size when you have it sitting like this. And like I said, you can have a magazine sitting right like this next to it, so you just pick it up put its magazine in, you just pick it up, put its magazine in there, and you're ready to go. So, anyways, that's the next rifle on the list. 
also last rifle and I know there is a little bit of repetitivity because this one and the AK are both 30 caliber rifles but the next one is just having a really good solid hunting rifle for larger game so if you are actually in fact trying to go after bear or moose or larger game animals it's nice to have something that's a solid hunting rifle this is just a Remington 700 uh, SPS model or special purpose synthetic as they call it so it's just a nice solid rifle for hunting and game getting for bigger game that the, that, that the 22 can not do. So that's why I chose the 30-06. This is a 30-06, totally forgot to mention that. But it's just a solid rifle and once again, this one's taken a lot of game and is extremely accurate. I know a lot of people talk trash on the Remington 700s but I have had a lot of great experience with the R700 platform for myself personally and kind of just being a gear reviewer myself, I can only speak <clears throat> I can only speak about my personal experience with a platform. Uh, so if someone else comes out and they're like, hey, you know, I had a really horrible experience with the R700, then you might stay away from it yourself. But for me personally, all I can say is good about the R700 and it is a very accurate and reliable rifle for me. So that's all I can say personally on it. So now moving over to the handguns. There's really only two handguns now, obviously. I have more guns than this. It's just, these are my top five, but the two handguns are factored for more personal defense, a lot like the AK is, uh, and then hunting, like the bolt action rifle and this uh, lever gun are. So starting off with the hunting rifle, or sorry, rifle, yeah. Starting off with the hunting handgun, this is a Ruger Blackhawk and 41 Rem Mag. Sometimes it just calls, being in Alaska, calls you to going into deep into the bush, straight into bear territory. I've already had to go there several times where there's a very high population of bears. And so that's when I go to the Ruger Blackhawk is because this is a really pretty lightweight and very reliable, uh, very well shooting, very good overall handgun in a magnum caliber and the 41 magnums no slouch i know a lot of people like 44 more Each, everyone's entitled to their own opinion but i like 41 so yeah it works so <laughs> anyways this is my preferred bear country handgun if i have to go in and i have to be there so anyways moving over to just the day-to-day -day tasks i prefer having the glock 19 or the glock 21 but more leaning toward the Glock 19 for just the day-to-day -day tasks. Believe it or not, a lot of homesteading and homestead life is done outside of the homestead, especially nowadays in modern homesteading. If you watch just about anyone from Wrangler Star to really any modern homesteader, uh, you know, they're going to town frequently. They may live on a homesteading property, but they go to town, they go to civilization. And so for that, it's nice to have a compact nine mil handgun. And as we've seen, the nine mil, when pushed into the roll, can easily stop things like wolves, coyotes, fox. So if you are just outside or, or you hear a coyote or wolf, you can run out there and rest pretty easy knowing that the 9mm will stop it, especially when you have, you know, 15 rounds in your magazine, sorry, 15 rounds of, in your magazine ready to go to work for you. So that, so that has been my top five guns. Like I said, two handguns, three rifles. These are my top picks and hopefully you've enjoyed this. As always, God bless and I'm out.